So now it's time for the cosplay. Please welcome to the stage, Katie Lamb. Now Katie is cosplaying as Ari from League of Legends. Look at this, this is amazing. Give us a twirl, show us the tails. Look at the tails! That's so cool. What's your favorite part of this costume? The tails, they move, they sway. So you've obviously made elements of this costume yourself. Which was the most challenging part? Um, I'd have to say the hip armor because it's not harnessed. It's designed to take the weight through gravity. And what materials have you used for this? Plastimate, warbler, PVA foam. There's a little bit of leather. There's pleather. There's everything. And I'm guessing this took quite a bit of time. Yes, it was a work of love over about two years. Amazing, two years! That's a lot of commitment to a costume. Was there procrastinating involved in that? Because that's usually what happens when a costume takes me that long. No, it wasn't actually procrastination. It's uh, a lot of gremlins lived in this. <laughs> this is the second generation of the bodysuit. The first one was literally burned. Um, <laughs> As you do. Well done, Katie. This is an amazing costume. Why don't you show it off with some poses? You guys want to grab some photos of this amazing costume? Make your way to the front. Thank you so much, Katie. Let's hear it. Next up, welcome to the stage, Carissa Kelly. This is a pyramid right here, making its way up a staircase. You see many things in cosplay. This is definitely one of those things. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. yep. This is a little intimidating. Wow. Seven and a half kilos. Seven and a half kilos for that head. And what is it made of? Um, aluminium. <laughs> That's amazing. So, so what part of this costume do you love the most? Um, the helmet, because I had to make it twice. <laughs> now, I know that you guys probably can't see from there, but if you do see, they're still walking around. The, the actual struts in here are the perfect size to hold a packet of smokes. <laughs> <laughs> and the lighter, and the license, and all the things in there. So how long did this take for you to make? Uh, since Haven last year. So you've been working on it for the last year. This is incredible. And oh wow, and you've got stilts under there and everything. I'm 18 inches higher off the ground. So I'm 172 centimetres normally, plus 18 inches. Incredible. Well done. Why don't you um, pose as well as you can? The sword weighs a lot, apparently, as well. Grab some photos, guys. This is, this is amazing. Thank you so much, Carissa. Do you need her hand getting down the stairs? Okay. Ari's got you covered. <laughs> Incredible. Now let's welcome to the stage, Jean. Uh, his costume is described as just some Viking from Vikings, you know. Look at this, nice. There's a lot of different elements at play here. You've got what? Hug boots. Hug <laughs> boots, that's amazing. And you've got all this fur everywhere and you've got some armour. Yep. Yeah, um, basically, yeah, that's it. Foam. Um, I'm actually surprised this hasn't broken yet, so... Oh, it's done well. It's definitely done well. So you've got some carvings here on, on, on here. What did you do that with? Uh, I spent a lot of time on a critical role, funnily enough, um, with a scalpel pen just carving this out. And it's been, yeah, horrid. So you say a lot of time. How long has it taken you to put this together? Uh, I've been working on it on and off like through the whole entire year. Um, so it's just like whenever I find spare time to do it. I believe the carvings in themselves have taken about 10 hours to do. Yeah. So... Oh well, 
It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. You've learned some stuff, right? I had as much my first cosplay, so it's sort of like it's a, it's been a big learning experience to uh. Woo! Do this. First cosplay, well done. Show us some poses, grab some photos, guys. Talent in Makai is impressive today. Next up, we've got Nina, and she is Ray. Woo! Hey, Nina, how are you going? I'm good. Walking up the stairs, which is great. <laughs> so tell me a bit about this costume. What, what have you spent the most time on? What have you enjoyed? Probably this thing. It took me a couple of weeks to do. Just rum, like rummage around, trying to find like, stuff. Yeah, so there's a lot of like rummage parts kind of put together to make this? Yeah, like half of it is rope, yeah, the half is um, taps, like tap handles, I don't know, I put it work. So that's definitely your favourite part of the costume, what, what did you find the most tedious to work on, if anything? Um, probably this, it's a curtain, I've cut it off, sew it all together. So you've done this with a curtain! See, we're resourceful. That's what Australian cosplayers do. It's amazing. So what was it about Ray that drew you to the character? Why, why cosplay Ray? She's awesome. Okay. <laughs> so how did you... I'm going to do spoilers. If you all haven't seen The Force Awakens, it's your fault by now. So that moment in the snow where it's like, oh, and she grabs that lightsaber. So I cried from that part until the credits rolled. Because I'm like, there's a cheddar that's a girl, and her name's Ray, and I've now got sound bites of, like, you know, General Leia saying, Ray, may the force be with you. Was this an emotional experience for you as well, or am I just a bit loopy? No, it's so cool to see, like, an awesome female character in such a big, you know, franchise. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Why don't you show up a bit of your staff work? Awesome. Grab some photos of you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> what they said. <laughs> now we've got Gingerman, Jesse, and James. How are you this evening? <laughs> so, tell us a little bit about these costumes. What have you most enjoyed making? Um, I just think that we love uniting everyone from around the world and around Australia and showing that, hey, cosplay is just fun. Absolutely. So, you're uniting all people within your nation. Okay. I see, I see how this is working. Definitely. So, have you had fun this evening as these characters? Absolutely. So these wigs are pretty cool. What, are, what have you done here? Tell me a bit about them. Um, we both got them from eBay. That's the place to get them. If yeah! you can't Woo! get them from out of wigs, then get them from eBay. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we had trouble styling them, but no one will notice, right? No, and if you hadn't have said anything, we never would have known. <laughs> So what is it really about, you know, cosplay that you love? Do you only get to cosplay at Haven? Do you do it at other places throughout the year? We pretty much do it every opportunity we have. Um, any excuse at all. And we like pushing the boundary of the social norm. So that's exactly what we did with Team Rocket. Perfect. Well, why don't you show off some Team Rocket poses for us here this evening? Grab your photos, ladies and gentlemen. Makai's very own Team Rocket. Uniting all cosplay people. See what they did there. Next up on the stage, we've got Rebecca Young. Wow, Rebecca. Now you're ring off in League of Legends. This is cool. You've done some nice armor work here. Tell me a bit about it. Um, it's made completely out of EVA foam, PVC foam board, and it's three to polystyrene. So, all foam. <laughs> but yeah, it took me about three weeks to make. Just, I tried to put as much detailing in as I could and, <laughs> and everything. Yeah, um, this was my first almond cosplay as well, so I'm pretty proud, I guess, of what I've accomplished. 
So first armor cosplay, how did you know how to make it? Were you was YouTube a resource? Did you look at other cosplayers? Uh, other cosplayers are my inspiration. So yeah, um, just like getting help from other people definitely helps. Yeah. Fantastic. So what was the most challenging part of this cosplay for you that you're most proud of? My shoulders, <laughs> definitely my shoulders. Like they're huge. I had to make like, small shoulders so that I could wear them, and then all the detailing on them. Yeah. Just, but it was so worth it. So tell me about this eye patch as well, because that's really cool and it's kind of going under everything. Yeah, I um, had to bow pin it to my wig cap so that I can wear it over my wig and then I can barely see as it is, so, you know. But it's, yeah, it's really cool. So on a scale of one to 10, how badly do you want to rip your wig off right now? You have no idea. <laughs> oh, I do. I do. <laughs> well done. Show us some poses, grab your photos. Makai, you are bringing the goods this evening. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Now, next up, we've got Kat. This is going to be an exercise in imagination. We can use our imagination, right, guys? Because Kat here is Lava Girl from Shark Boy and Lava Girl. But she's not wearing the costume anymore. And we're going to talk about a bit what it looked like. Describe to me what you're wearing. I am wearing a pink unitard that I have stuck. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where you stuck. Bits of foam all over. And then, yeah, made some shoes. Yeah. There's no imperfections at all. It was just perfect, really accurate. I'm looking at it up close and the lines on this are impeccable. Major Sam, you know, you know she's got some competition right here. Amazing. Look, cosplay is fun. Cosplay can be uncomfortable. If you get changed out of cosplay, you're no less a cosplayer. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Next up, we have Tony. Zavine. And I think you might recognize a bit of Moxie from Borderlands up here this evening. Mm -hmm. Nice. So tell me a bit about your costume. Well, sugar, I just come across this. I just stole it from my first husband. Mm -hmm. So you stole your costume from your first husband. Awesome. How much work went into that? <laughs> How many years did that take? Six months. <laughs> no, um... It's all handmade. Um, Moxie is just a bit of fun. And while she looks quite naked, there's actually a lot of layers. Oh, goodness. Surprisingly, the less clothing you wear, the harder it is to do. I know that doesn't seem to make much sense, but yeah. Yeah, so um, shoes had to be made. I've even made a bag. Ooh, good stuff. Um, and a working megaphone, even though Moxie doesn't seem to use it. Would you like to use it now? No, she said no, we're not gonna do that to you. It, it definitely works. Okay, so, so how long did this all take to put together, do you think? Um, it's approximately six months to put together. Was six months? That wasn't just the seducing the husband and then taking the costume? No, it really was about six months to put together. Awesome, and this hat's really cool too. Did you cover that? Yeah, it's all covered and um, hand decorated. Thanks. And the makeup's really awesome as well. You've done a fantastic job. Why don't you show us some poses? Everyone grab some photos. Thank you very much, Tony. Next up, we've got Tyson. Wow. We got a Chinook from Mortal Kombat X. This is quietly terrifying. Look at this, look at this coming towards. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. Hi, hi. <laughs> so, you can talk under this. Tell me what you've done here. Is this plaster? Yes, yeah, so it's a uh, plaster bench. So the stuff you get if you break any arm or any part of your body like that. Or your head. Or your head. Um, <laughs> So yeah, basically everything, the hands, the elbows, the head, the gut, everything is done with that. Uh, this is just a piece of felt, 
that I've just doubled a couple of layers up and to make that. Um, the green stones are just your oven baked clay. So you just shape it, put it in the oven, and that's it. Awesome. So how long has this taken you to put together? Um, so this afternoon, about quarter to five, I just finished doing this painting on the stomach. Like a true cosplayer. Yeah. <laughs> I was sort of getting kicked up the arse saying, hurry up, we're going to go the day. Um, so the head took about a week to do, and the rest of the body two weeks, because um, my first initial plan sort of went south, so I had to start all over from scratch and ended up with this. And have you made anything like this before? Have you been cosplaying for long? Um, I've only ever cosplayed two other times, and that was first when Haven first started, and then last year, and this year. Fantastic. Well, you've done an amazing job here. Come to the front of the stage. No, don't fall off it, and stop. <laughs> Everyone grab some photos. That is incredible. Thank you so much, Tyson. And then last but certainly not least, we have Megan Williams, who is Hawk Girl. so smooth how have you done this so i'm going to do it again on stage your breastplate here is so smooth what have you done all righty so it's warbler but i had to do several layers and get that um putty in sanding it back and then re-putty and re-sand until i was happy with it and then you do that base coat and go oh it's still a bit here still a bit there and re-sand until you're happy with it and you've used that same process on your helmet as well yes yes now tell me about the wings all right, so the wings are actually just a balsa frame because it was lighter, but it's all like linked up with like um, a pulley system to go up and down, electronics, which my lovely assistant has, wherever he is, um, all with a button so it goes up and down. <laughs> That's remote control from like somewhere in the crowd. That's super cool. So how long has this taken to put together? I started in January. It's been a slow process. But the last final tweaks happened literally about five minutes before we left. As it does. All right, well, congratulations. You've done an amazing effort here. Come to the front. Everyone, grab your photos. You have a whole girl in the Kai. Incredible. Thank you so much. Now, actually, I might get you to stay on stage because it'll be a lot easier. I'm going to get all of our cosplayers from the top ten up on stage. Let's get a nice big group shot of you guys. And at this point in time, I'd also like to call our judges from this event. If anyone can locate, there we go, we've got one, we've got two, we've got three. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Are you ready to hear who has won some prizes this evening? Yes! Woo! So first up is Best Male, who will win $250 cash. Woo! You ready to hear? Do you want to do like a drum roll or something? That's always fun. There we go, there we go, there we go. You guys are rad. Red, I love Haven. 
Mikhail, your best male for Haven 2016 is Dean. Just some vibes. Dan here to explain a little bit why Dean won this prize. Alrighty, okay, so we, we picked Dean because uh, he made everything, absolutely everything. Uh, from the props, if you want to come over with me over here, Dean, just come and stay with me. Uh, we were really impressed because Dean, he said one thing that we thought was really cool and it was that he just wanted to come here and have fun and at the same time he thought he'd have more fun by giving cosplay a shot. And the fact that he made everything from scratch, even the weapons, which at first I thought he bought from a shop because it looks store-bought. Um, he spent hours making everything from scratch. He did it all for fun and he just wanted to come and have a good time. So uh, he killed it and we just thought, you know, this guy deserves to, to take out the prize. So thanks for having a good time, dude. Next up, we've got our best female who will also win $250. Drum roll, please. This is so good. And the winner is Katie Lamb. Now, <laughs> uh, Gabby, why Katie? Her costume is incredible. I was really impressed with the tails and all of this mixture of materials and the way she's just incorporated leather and warbler and foam and pretty much everything under the sun. And I love the design and it just... Seriously, I've got no words. It's, it's late, Haven. It's very late. <laughs> Amazing costume, well done. Congratulations to Katie. No, it echoed back. The clapping just came through the speaker back at us, and so we're all like, whoa, what just happened then? Really cool. All right, now it is time for the runner-up, overall runner-up, who will win $150. And the runner-up, drum roll, is Rebecca Renga from Lowell. Okay, and so we picked Beck as our runner-up, obviously, because she's put heaps of effort into this. It looks really cool. Um, up close, like, if you get a chance afterwards, check it out. It looks really cool. There's lots of detail in the armor and stuff. And armor is not something that is easy to work with. Um, particularly, we've gone with foam for a lot of it, and foam gets damaged really easy. So to travel here with foam in the first place is huge. Um, everything is detailed. It looks really cool. And it's so animated. It's so true to the game. We thought it needs a prize. So round of applause for Beck again. That's great. Well done, Rebecca. Amazing work. Now it's time for your champion. Your 2016 Haven Cosplay Ultimate Champion who gets this shiny, shiny trophy. And $800 cash. Let's go for the biggest drum roll. You guys can manage for this right now. That's it. With the cheering. Drum rolling with the cheering because your cosplay champion for 2016 is Megan Williams, your hot girl. I mean, wow. Seriously, we were impressed with it immediately when she stepped in for pre judging, and then the impressive wingspan just, you know, kind of seals the deal. She's obviously worked very hard on her costume. That cow is not easy to replicate. I've tried, I've given up. I, I, I said no, but she said yes, and what an amazing cosplay it is. So give it up for her. You've done some incredible work, Nick, and you should be very proud. Now, can we get all of you guys to the front of the stage for some more photos with your trophies, the trophy winners? And at this point in time, I'd also like to invite anyone who wore a costume today that would just like to be in a nice big group shot of all of Haven's cosplayers, come and join these guys on stage. You're all incredibly deserving. This guy, look at this guy. This guy got here late and missed pre-judging. You know how devastating that is? 
Oh, rules. There's rules, man. I'm so sorry. Blame Deadpool. It's his fault. Come to the front, grab your photo, show the world what Mackay can do. It's pretty good. opportunity to do one of those like really cheesy one two three everyone yell haven things it just seems like one of those moments right so you ready one two three